Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing great today. I appreciate the one two will be watching this video. And if your viewers three and above, I appreciate you as well and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please leave some comments below if you already seen this movie that I'm about to talk about. Let me know your feelings and thoughts about it. Interested to know uh, what everybody else thinks about this. I haven't heard anything else from other people, so I'm interested to see what other people think. Uh, so today we'll be talking about the movie Fury. This is a Vietnamese movie. Uh, this is actually the first Vietnamese movie I've ever seen. And personally, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, but so I'm going to talk about it and see if this might be something that you might enjoy watching. Well, uh, Furies, this is Furies, I don't know if I said that Fury or Furies before, but Furies is the prequel to the movie Fury, for those of you who have already seen it. I have never seen the original Fury movie, I don't know what it's about or anything, but <clears throat> but Furies is on Netflix, and uh, this basically is the origin story, I imagine, of the hero or the main character in Fury. So we get her little origin story here, we find out that she comes from a humble background. Uh, her mother is like a prostitute uh, who's killed very early in this movie. And she kind of gets taken in by a, a woman who teaches her how to fight. And uh, this woman is in for revenge because some gangsters uh, killed her husband. Uh, so she joins uh, kind of like this little, I would say group. It's this woman, older woman. She's kind of like the leader. Her name's Jacqueline. And she has... Uh, two other underlings at this time but then our our main character joins making him a trio uh i guess you could kind of say pushing the boundaries here a little bit like charlie's angels as uh this older woman their leader uh she trains them teaches them how to fight how to do things and then she kind of sends them off to do little missions uh to help her get revenge uh for her husband's death uh, however, uh, she doesn't really tell them about this is a revenge story. Uh, she tells these ladies that they're out there to help other women who are uh, basically being uh, sex slaves and such. And so that's basically what this is about is uh, her helping this lady get revenge for the death of her husband and her child. Uh, this um, movie is very violent. Within the first 10 minutes, you get like two or three instances of uh attempted uh rape in this um so it really shows like the hardship of women who are poor who are underprivileged and uh the really like the dark side of vietnamese society i don't know how much they exaggerated it or anything like that considering i've never been to vietnam just going by this movie but kind of like the underworld of what vietnamese is like uh we get to see this drug lord and then like how he uh he's you know he's selling his drugs and also he's kind of like uh, uh pimping out these girls making them um, addicted on drugs that way they'll do you know the that kind of uh work i guess uh activity for his own benefit uh the show uh what i really enjoyed about the show is that we do get to see our our uh, main character you know how at first She's just full of anger, like when she fights people, she doesn't know what she's doing, she doesn't know how to fight, but she's just full of rage, and this is how she, a lot of times, wins her battles. Uh, but we get to see her do some training, uh, refine her fighting skills, you know, we get her to see her from being like a, uh, basically like a, a broken woman, you know, and get her confidence built up, you know, be able to, uh, be able to come to a point where she's relying on other people, uh, feel this, uh, this uh bond you know and these three women young women come basically like sisters you know they all come from a similar background and they come a very close niche uh the action scenes of this movie are very well done very well uh filmed and uh orchestrated uh the only problem i had was there's like a motorcycle chase scene and you can very tell it's very cgi-ish uh but it's still it's still nice it's still good um still very well shot even though you can kind of tell it's cgi it's just nothing it's maybe a step down from your typical hollywood movie um but uh you tell that you know it's uh cgi uh cgi another uh, problem i have with this is like you know these women are kind of small and they're like beating up like there's like 20 or 30 guys in a tight spot and they're able to like beat them all up and be able to be uh you know have the strength to like 
push them aside and take like some massive hits and such. Uh, but that's something you'll see in like your typical action show, especially when it involves women to be in the, like strong, you know, your strong woman character uh, type of thing. So it's kind of, you have to do kind of uh, put a wide, put aside uh, reality in this kind of, in this film, but it's your typical films like this, uh, these action films where you have a strong female lead. Um, so you got good action, storyline is well, uh, uh, storyline, sorry, is well written. Um, they do a very good job with this. Uh, build up the character, you got these characters that you can root for, and uh, you got your villains that you can absolutely hate. Uh, so I enjoyed it. I think it's time to end this. Uh, give my re little review here. Um, sorry, thinking here. We go from uh, highly recommend, recommend, and then recommend the caution. Very positive. Let's go give this a recommend. Uh, this is a solid film. If you like action films that's starring uh, women, you really like this. If you're just an action f guy or girl, woman. Uh, in particular, you'll enjoy this. You get your action. It is a dark and kind of gritty. You do got, like I said, there's some indices where people are trying to rape people. Um, you got a lot of violence, a lot of people doing drugs, a lot of uh, women being abused. So it really highlights that part of uh, this. Uh, this show really highlights, you know, how women are exploited. Uh, can be exploited for like sex trafficking and other debauchery stuff. Uh, so it does really hit that theme pretty hard. So uh, just be aware of that. Something you probably wouldn't want to show to little children. I think it is rated mature. So you got that age limit there. But yes, like I said, great act, uh, great action. Acting's pretty good as well. Uh, I was kind of surprised. Um, so far, no offense to those Filipinos out there, but all the Filipinos movies I've seen are like probably the worst Asian shows are the Philippines. From what I've seen so far, no offense, this is what I've seen. Uh, but this Vietnamese, I was surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect uh, coming from that country. But I liked it. I think they did an excellent job. And if I ever had a chance to see Fury, the original one, I would watch it. I would like to see what happens to your life after she gets out of prison, uh, personally. Sorry, threw in a little spoiler at the end. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. And... Uh, Adiós.